Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I'm glad you're with me today. What we're going to talk about today is the top health tips for 2022. These are the things I want you to really start incorporating because we've covered a lot of things over the years. We've covered brain function and digestion and foot health and everything else. But these are the top tips that you can start implementing right now in order to obtain and maintain good health. And I want you to implement all of them. Now, I know I'm a realist and some of you will implement some. Some of you won't implement any. But I really want you to consider this because everything we're going to teach you is very inexpensive, very easy, and something you can start doing right away. You don't have to have any special equipment or anything for it unless it's, we talk about supplements. So, so start the new year. I want you to take stock and plan out a beneficial lifestyle. I think things are changing. I think we're kind of the world is going to change again for the better in a very short period of time. And what I want you to do is say, okay, how do I hit the ground running? I don't want to go into this and then everybody leaves me behind. So you've heard me talk about this one before, vitamin D. Vitamin D optimization is the absolute foundation for fighting infections, and it bolsters what's called the first line of defense in your immune system. When something comes in contact with you, it keeps that strong. So ideally, it's a good idea to test your vitamin D levels. Now, if you're getting your regular doctor checkups, uh, when you get your blood work done, you may have to request to have the vitamin D added. It's very inexpensive to get that test done. What they say, they, whoever they are, people smarter than us, I guess, say about 30 nanograms per milliliter is an acceptable level. I don't agree. I, we want to shoot for about 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter year round. What we find is 30 is kind of like just enough to kind of keep you alive, but it's not enough to really make you thrive. So we really want to get those levels up to about 60 to 80. Uh, we can do testing at our office if you want to, but if you're getting your blood work done, just make sure the doctor adds a vitamin D test in there. Really important. Vitamin D can reduce your risk of getting respiratory infections by reducing the survival and the replication of certain types of viruses. It reduces inflammation. Uh, it maintains the endothelial integrity. That's the, the, the cells, uh, uh, the lining of your lungs. And so it does many different things for your immune system. It also helps your brain, and it also helps you absorb calcium. Now, if you're taking vitamin D, we're going to talk about this in a second. We're going to circle back in a few minutes. But you want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin K2. Now, if you're eating a plant-based diet, if you're eating like I told you to eat, you're probably getting enough vitamin K2. Nothing to worry about. However, most people don't eat a very good diet. So that's why in our supplement, Dr. Joe's Vitamin D3, we add vitamin K2 right to it. So you don't have to think, making it real simple for you. Uh, in fact, I was just at the studio earlier, and one of my uh, on-air co-hosts, uh, Frank Ski, he stopped me, and he said, you gave me the vitamin D. How much do I have to take again? I said, five drops a day, Frank. He said, thank you. So it's really important we get the vitamin D levels in our body where they need to be. And I, I always say it's the least expensive insurance policy you'll ever buy. So five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D3, you should be fine. If you feel yourself getting sick, you can boost that. You can do 50, well, 50 drops. It's 50,000 international units. And you can do that for about two or three days and then cut back. Had a patient the other day, and she's been taking uh, our vitamin D, and she was taking somebody else's vitamin D. All great products. And she said, my doctor says my numbers are too high. I said, oh, I doubt that. She goes, I'm 120 nanograms per milliliter. I said, yeah, you're too high. I said, cut it in half what you're doing. She said, okay. I just thought more was better. No, more isn't better. So you don't want to overdose on vitamin D3. Make sure it's vitamin D3 and not vitamin D2. Vitamin D2 is synthetic. It has to be converted into vitamin D3. So I want you to take the vitamin D3 right up. It's the same price, essentially. I mean, it might be a tiny bit more expensive, but it's certainly worth it for the pennies you're going to pay for that. So we're talking today about the top health tips for the year. And we may have a lot of these. We may have to do a couple of shows on this. You want to keep, uh, keep your intake of key immune-boosting nutrients regular. You don't want to say, well, I took some glutathione and then I stopped. You want to do this on a regular basis. A lot of nutrients are known to boost the immunity, and they help ward off things like influenza and other types of viruses. So a couple of nutrients I'm going to want you to consider, and I talk about this a lot when I, people say, well, Dr. Joe, what do you take for your immune system? Glutathione. It thins out mucus. It lowers your chance of, of infection from viruses, and it reduces your risk of developing severe bronchitis. So glutathione is the master antioxidant. And I, it's important for so many different things. But today we're talking about the immune system in this segment. Spirulina. 
Where do we find spirulina? Dr. Joe Supergreens. We use chlorella and spirulina. It reduces the severity of, of, of uh, influenza or infection from viruses, and it lowers the mortality rate in animals. Now, I don't know if there's been a lot of studies in humans, but it certainly isn't going to help. There's one human trial. Uh, spirulina significantly lowered the viral load in patients with an HIV infection, which is another type of virus. And the load is how much virus you have in your body. And so it's in it's super greens. So when I formulated a lot of these supplements, I said, how can I put as much stuff into a supplement to make it quick and easy as possible? In fact, I had somebody the other day give us a five-star review on Google, which thank you. And she said, one of the problems I had was that Dr. Joe's products are less expensive than everybody else's. So I assumed they weren't as good. She goes, but then I researched and I realized if it's good enough for Dr. Joe, it's certainly good enough for us. I'm not trying to gouge you on supplements. In fact, Joe, my, my, my uh, uh, partner here, he's always fighting with me about keeping the prices the best we possibly can. We're always, you know, working with the manufacturers and everything. And so we do everything we can to try to keep the prices so that you can afford them. So just because something is more expensive doesn't mean it's better. I saw something the other day, a hair shampoo. And I read the ingredients. It was supposed to volumize your hair and help stimulate growth. And I said, okay. So I read the ingredients. It was okay. Then I went to uh, Sprouts. I like shopping at Sprouts. I give them a free shout out. And I looked at the ingredients in one of theirs, basically the same ingredients. And it was a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the cost. So just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's better. Just remember that. Uh, quality is everything. My grandfather always said, always buy the best. It's always cheaper. And boy, is he ever right. Another thing that nobody talks about a whole lot for their immune system is something called beta-glucan. It reduces the severity of viral infections and lowers mortality rates, again, in animal studies. But beta-glucan we put in essential source. Why? Because it helps the immune system. Selenium, really important. Selenium uh, deficiency increases the rate of which viruses can mutate and promoting the evolution of more pathogenic species. So if a virus, a virus is going to evolve, that's what they do. And so like the flu that we have today, as far as I know from the research I've done, is just an extension of the Spanish flu that happened, was it 1918? So it's the same flu that's been around. It just keeps mutating and mutating. It's got weaker and weaker. So that's what viruses do. That's how they do their thing. Now, I don't know where the COVID virus came from. I have no idea, but it's doing exactly what viruses do. It's getting weaker and weaker. Selenium can help prevent it from becoming a superbug, which is kind of cool. Now, again, none of these are end-all, be-alls. None of these are cure-alls. These are just things you want to do as part of a wellness protocol. Zinc is really important because zinc can uh, bind to the virus and prevent it from replicating. And it's really important that we have zinc in our diet. So where would we get selenium and zinc? Well, eating a good plant-based diet, nuts and seeds, but it's also in Dr. Joe's essential source. Now, again, I'm not claiming I have a cure for anything. I'm saying I've formulated these things with the nutrients that most people need. And we know what these nutrients can do. Probiotics are really important. Um, in fact, I was just on the air uh, a while ago with uh, Eric von Hessler, and we were talking about keeping the colon healthy. I don't know how we go to weird topics when I'm on his show. And um, we talked about, oh, junk food. He says, how does junk food really work? And I said, why is, why is it? Is it the chemicals? Is it the additives? I said, a lot of it is the omega-6 fatty acids. And the omega-6 fatty acids, which I'll talk about in a second, oxidize. And it can kill off the good bacteria, which weakens your immune system. So I take Dr. Joe's probiotic every day just to make sure my, my, my colon is healthy. And you probably should too. So it's very, again, most of this stuff, if you add it all up, it's not that expensive. And if you're doing things like coffee or fast food or just, you know, splurging on things you don't need, this is way more effective, way less expensive, and way more beneficial than a lot of the habits you have right now. I'm amazed. I don't drink. But I'm amazed that if you go to a bar, a drink is like 10 and $12. Well, back in the days, my college days, if I did have a drink, it was $2. And of course, times have changed a lot. But if I'm going to drop $12 on a drink, when I can be dropping just a few dollars on supplements, better choice, much better choice. Resveratrol is another one that's really important. Um, it, it, it has the power to inhibit the replication of certain types of viruses and uh, specifically improving the survival of uh, infections in, in mice, the one study was done. Uh, resveratrol acts by inhibiting a cellular, at, at a, a cellular rather than a viral function. So it, it works a little differently than the other ones. And that's why I like to have a lot of bullets uh, in, my, in, my, uh, in my gun here. I wanna try different things to try to attack uh, anything that's attacking my body and keep my immune system as healthy as we can. 
Uh, resveratrol also found an essential source, just so you know. You want to treat infections at the first sign. And this is something that bothers me. People start to feel sick and they don't want to do anything about it. Ah, it's okay. I'm just fine. Now, any infection, whether it's a cut, whether it's uh, the flu, whether it's a cold, whether it's something else, the quicker we get to it, the better we're going to be. And that's, that's a good rule for healthcare. The sooner we can diagnose anything, cancer, osteoporosis, a high blood pressure, pinched nerves, the quicker we're able to diagnose something, usually the quicker it is to get it fixed. The easier it is to get it fixed and the least expensive way to do it. In most cases, not always. But you must start treating immediately. So if somebody starts feeling under the weather, if I start feeling under the weather, again, what you do is always up to you. This is what I do. I take double dose of super greens, double dose of essential source. And there are two powders, if you're new to the show. There are two powders, they're supplements. You mix them together. I shake them up, coconut milk, almond milk, make a smoothie out of it. Uh, that's the, the core supplement protocol that I recommend. Then I, ta- I would take 5,000 drop, 550 drops, I'm sorry, of uh, 1,000 e- 1, units each of uh, vitamin D for two or three days and then go back to five drops a day. I would take glutathione. I'd take a double dose of glutathione. I would stay away from sugar. Breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, regular sugar. It weakens the immune system. I would drink a lot of water. I would raise my body temperature. Get in a steam shower if you have that capability. At least get in a hot bath. Raise your body temperature because viruses die at certain temperatures. That's why you get a fever. Your body's doing exactly what it's supposed to do to fight off a virus, raise the temperature. So you can enhance that by maybe taking a hot bath or a steam shower and get the body temperature warm. Keep the body warm. It's going to help the body fight off the viruses. And you don't want to uh, ignore this because the better it's better to over-treat than to under-treat. There's also two supplements I take. One is called Dr. Joe's uh, Wellness Booster, and it's a uh, liquid, and it has a little bit of alcohol in it. So if you don't drink, this is not a supplement for you. It has echinacea, powdiarco, olive leaf extract, and sumer root in it. And I take that pretty much every day. Take a little bit, about a tablespoon. And then we have something called Dr. Joe's Seasonal Tonic. Now, this is funny because uh, uh, a friend of mine, Bobby, well, he's, my, he's an adult now, but I, I helped kind of raise him as a child. And he called me the other day. He goes, you got any uh, cold and flu tonic? And I said, well, it's not called cold and flu tonic anymore. It's called seasonal tonic. And uh, he says, yeah, uh, me and my girlfriend, we, we, we want to make sure we're fighting everything we can. She came over to the house, and I had some there, and I gave it to him. And uh, it tastes very strong. It's ginger, horseradish, cayenne pepper, onion, and garlic. And we puree that in an apple cider vinegar, and then we let it ferment. So it's very potent. In fact, when I take it, I burp. As soon as I take a shot of it, I just burp like crazy for about you know three, three or four burps. So somehow it's affecting my digestive system. Very powerful, very potent. And it has some antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal properties. It's not a cure-all, it's not the magical elixir, but it's something that I like to have on hand in case I do feel a little under the weather, then I'll start taking it. It says take it once a day. You can take it every hour if you want to. It's only food. It's not like it's going to have a drug reaction. It's just food. So uh, that's something that you might want to keep on hand as well. That's Dr. Joe's seasonal tonic. So, And again, you want to be able to treat things before they happen, not after, because A, you might not be able to get the products that you need. And number two, uh, you may not feel well enough to go out and get them. So uh, vitamin D, we talked about that. You can do turmeric. I do turmeric every day. It's one of the Dr. Joe's supplements on the website. And turmeric is anti-inflammatory. It's been shown to help certain types of cancer. It helps with brain function. So there's no harm in taking turmeric every day to really keep that inflammation down because that's the thing with viral infections. It's inflammation. And if you get inflammation in your arteries, which you can, viral infections affect everything, the body then starts to lay down cholesterol to kind of make the arteries thicker so they don't burst. And if you have chronic inflammation, if you have a bad diet, if you're eating alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, the inflammation is going to be there and you just keep feeding it. And so turmeric can help counteract that. The goal, though, is to stop putting the inflammation in there, of course. And then we talked about zinc. Uh, Quercetin is really important. Uh, Quercetin helps open up the cells so that zinc uh, can get into the cell and kill the virus. So that's how quercetin works. And we also put that in essential source as well. So there's a lot of things you can do. You know, avoid the sugar, rest. Uh, We talked about wellness booster, seasonal tonic. So there's several things that you can do. 
uh, to keep your body healthy. And then if you do start to get sick, chances are you're not going to get as sick. There have been many studies on chiropractic care and the immune system. And the studies, uh, some of them I remember reading from Life University in Marietta, Georgia, where you can uh, act, monitor somebody's white blood cell activity and adjust them, give them a chiropractic adjustment, and you'll see the white blood cell activity becomes more effective, be- increases. So I want to make sure that my nervous system is working the best it possibly can as well, because the nervous system controls everything. Right now, your brain is sending a nerve to your heart, your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your thyroid, your thymus, your kidneys, your ovaries, your gallbladder, your prostate. And so this is the missing link in healthcare. Everybody keeps treating the symptoms, but very few doctors try to get to the cause. And many times the cause is a malfunctioning organ. And what makes an organ malfunction, many times it's chemical overload, bad diet, not enough nutrients, and, and or a pinched nerve going to the organ. And that's where we, I would add chiropractic care to something that I think everybody should do, not just because their necks hurt, their back hurts. And that's kind of the rap we got. People say, well, chiropractors are really good at helping pain. My team of doctors are really good at dealing with pain and the cause of pain. But it's so much more than that. You get so many benefits that you don't even know about when you come to a chiropractor, hopefully us. Open up the nerve supply to the organs. And so that's why I think if you do have obvious symptoms, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, just come see us. Stop suffering needlessly. And the benefit is, hopefully, no promises, we get you out of pain or certainly reduce the pain, but we also get the immune system and the nervous system working more efficiently. I mean, how beneficial is that? Most effective, least expensive treatment for most back pain, very safe. There's a risk of everything, but extremely low. Then we do nutrition on our patients. Then we check their digestive system. We put together a specific protocol for them. And that's why patients come from literally all over the world. Because they want to try to get to the cause of their problems. And we don't have the cure for everything, but it's certainly an option that most people have never had. I had a patient the other day, a young girl, and I was chatting with her. And she had seizures. And the doctor just gave her different medications, different medications, different medications. And she said it happened right after a car accident. And I checked her neck, and sure enough, the upper part of her neck was all twisted out of place. And that's the brain stem, part of the brain. And if it's being pinched, it can cause seizures. So we talked, we're just talking, and she stops me. She goes, I, I don't care what else you say, start now. She goes, whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it right now. And I'm trying to explain it to her and make her understand. She goes, no, do it. Yes, ma'am. Got up. We took, took x-rays, got her adjusted. So there's so many more benefits than just back pain. And if you have back pain, it's telling us the body isn't working properly. So if you'd like to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. That's the Atlanta area. You can go to drjoe.com and book an appointment right online. We accept almost every insurance, car accidents, sports injuries. If you're ever in a car accident, come see us immediately. Because there are so many scammers out there that'll call you up and say, oh, this is the police department. This is your insurance company. Uh, you, this is a whatever. You need to go see this doctor or this lawyer right away. That's a scam. And I have patients come in several times a week saying they got those phone calls. And it's a scam. I wouldn't do it. It's illegal. So if you want to come see us, we're real. I teach doctors how to deal with car accidents. Doctors, lawyers, uh, physical therapists, occupational therapists. I train a lot of them for continuing education on how to deal with car accident cases. So if you want to come to the teacher and his team, drjoe.com. But we'd love to see you. Normally, the first visit is $720. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, going over the x-rays, and a complete nutrition evaluation. That's why the the cost is there. We've reduced that to $375. And we accept most insurances. And we accept Medicare. And we accept Ambetter. And I mean, people say, what about that? We accept almost everything. But if you want to know specifically, you can just call the office and we'll let you know about your policy. But mo- half of our patients don't even have insurance or their deductibles are so crazy, five, $6,000 deductibles. It doesn't matter if you have insurance. We'll bill your insurance company for you, but it's still the most affordable treatment. Treatment for treatment, it's just amazing how inexpensive it is. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com and bring your kids too. Other things that we can do, and again, we're talking about things that most people don't think about, Uh, to keep yourself healthy. You want to optimize your health with enzymes. This is so overlooked in the health community, in the supplement community. Enzymes do so many different things. They're composed of what's called amino acids, and uh, they're necessary to speed up cellular functions and biological processes. Some of the body, uh, bodily processes that require enzymes, energy production, oxygen absorption, 
waste removal, breaking down fats into blood, dissolving blood clots, fighting infections. And as we get older, our enzyme levels drop dramatically. They plummet. And so the way we slow that down and hopefully stop it and maybe reverse it a little bit, number one is you want to have something raw at every meal. Broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, salad, apple. And I take Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes whenever I eat a cooked meal. The other day I got crazy. I was home on a weekend. I made this big pot of vegetable soup and it was spectacular, but it's cooked. So as I ate it, you know, as a single man, I have a lot of, make a lot, eat a lot. Um, I took a digestive enzymes every time I had vegetable soup and it helped me digest my food. Now, those are easy to digest. If you're eating alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, those are a lot harder to digest and certainly would need digestive enzymes. So I can't imagine why everyone doesn't have a bottle of digestive enzymes with them all the time. And when you eat something cooked, just pop an enzyme. That's what I do. I have my car, have my house, have my office. And they're, again, relatively inexpensive, but amazing. And it's not going to happen one day. You've got to build up your enzyme stores. And here's the thing. If you want the enzymes to work on damaging proteins in your blood, and that's the reason you want to take them on an empty stomach. If you want them to digest food, you take them with food. So if you take them with food, they're going to get used up on the food. If you take it on an empty stomach, they're able to get into the blood system and can actually start attacking dangerous proteins that are in your body. So how you take the enzymes also has a bearing on how well they work. Kind of cool, right? You never knew that before, I bet. You want to make sure your liver's healthy. Your liver is so important. Your liver filters everything out, breaks things down. So the liver is the fastest healing organ in the body. So it's really easy. The way you get the liver to work best is stop poisoning it. As soon as you stop putting in the junk food, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, the liver starts to detoxify. Now, glutathione is a great supplement for the liver as well. Drinking a lot of water, choline-rich foods. You need something called choline, and you can get those from where? Broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, shiitake mushrooms. So again, eating a good plant-based diet not only is good for you and the environment, but now it's good for your liver. It's good for your immune system. It takes the stress off the digestive system. There's so many benefits to eating a plant-based diet. Now, if you don't know what to eat, okay, go to our website, drjoe.com. And for absolutely no charge, type in the words, so what can I eat? And we give you a breakdown of breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, uh, parties, raising kids, real easy. First book I ever wrote was called Eating Right for the Health of It. And it was, it was pretty much that. It told you how to eat, has diet plans in it, you know, meal plans, I should say, over 200 recipes. Uh, all that's available on the website, drjoe.com. But we have over 2,000 hours of podcasts on the website, audio and video. Maybe you're a visual learner. So do that if you want to learn. If you're a podcast junkie, just go whatever podcast service you use and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And you could listen to podcasts all day, every day, if you'd like. Uh, if you follow us on social media, we post almost every day. Uh, you would know that we do free COVID testing at our offices and there's no lines. So you might want to look, if you follow social media, you'd know all that. So my handle is at Dr. Joe Esposito. And that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And we post a lot. We do live streaming. Uh, we do live streaming uh, podcasts. And so you get to see my pretty face. So we do a lot of fun things. We give you fun tips. Sometimes we have giveaways. We give away concert tickets sometimes. We give away supplements. So drjoe.com, a uh, lot of information there, at Dr. Joe Esposito on social media. But the most important thing you can do is make an appointment to come see us. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Do it right online, drjoe.com. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I'm glad you're with us today. We're talking today about the top health tips that I want you to incorporate this year. And so a lot of people say, well, Dr. Joe, where do I start? So these shows are really good shows to listen to because we're going to give you starting points. What do we do step by step, line item by line item, what supplements, what foods, what lifestyle changes? And if you start implementing these things, I'd love for you to implement all of them, by the way. But I understand you're probably not going to. So pick and choose what you want. Now, the good news is this show and hundreds, thousands of other shows are on our website, drjoe.com. If you follow us on Facebook at Dr. Joe Esposito, as soon as we're done recording a show, it goes right on Facebook. So you can, uh, if you follow us, just go to our homepage and you could listen to, you know, listen to whatever shows you want. If you have a podcast service at Dr. Joe Esposito, 
these shows are there too. So you have many, many ways to access the shows. And on the website, you can just type in what you're looking for. Type in immunity, type in uh, health tips, type in men's health, women's health, back pain, neck pain, digestive issues, headaches. We've done shows on a lot. It's about 2,000 hours of shows. And so then you can get educated on the specific concerns you have. And the cost for all of that is no charge. I give you all these shows as a gift. How cool is that? And I can't tell you how many times a week somebody comes to me and says, Dr. Joe, you are amazing and we want to monetize your shows and you should charge for these podcasts. And I said, well, I should, but I don't because I want to get this information out to the public. I'm like the Nikolai Tesla of of modern times. He gave away all his patents so that the world could use them. So I want to give away this stuff to you. So follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. You'll get push notifications when we go live, when we do shows, we have giveaways. And so it's a lot of fun at Dr. Joe Esposito. So one of the things, and I was, I was talking about this earlier, I was on uh, my friend Eric Von Hessler's show. Um, he's got a, I think he's the number one morning show in the Southeast, actually. And he and I are good friends. And I was on the show and we we're talking about junk food. And he says, what is it in junk food that actually makes you sick? Is it the dyes, the chemicals? And I, I brushed on this earlier. It's really a lot of the oils. This is a neat report. It's out of the Journal of Gastroenterology. And it's a radical novel approach and logically sound as to why people that have infections develop life-threatening organ failure and some don't. And one of the connections we seem to find is a diet high in unsaturated fats. Now, diet-related comorbidities are responsible for about 94% 94 of deaths from viral infections. Let me say that again. Diet-related comorbidities, 94% related to 94% of the deaths. So taking control of your diet is just simple. A lot of it is common sense, and it's going to lower your risk of so many different things, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, infection, dying. The problem is this. I was talking to a group of doctors the other day. I was giving a workshop and I was talking about the digestive system, the enteric nervous system and the vagus nerve and the stomach and digestion. I, you know, my, my breakdown of things and about three of the doctors overweight laughed. Ah, oh, come on, Joe. I can never give that stuff up. Come on. Oh, nothing like a good cigar. Come on. Who doesn't like good brandy? Nice thick steak. And I thought, wait a minute. These people are in charge of our health system. They're doctors. And they're joking. Ha, 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 ha. Wouldn't it be great? Yeah. I used to eat steak a long time ago, about 35 years. And I think it was good. From what I remember, I think I enjoyed it. But the risks far outweigh the benefits. And when it comes to nutrition, nobody's forcing food down your throat. You can decide what you're going to eat. So why not eat good food? Ah, I can never give that up. Okay. That's fine. It's your choice. The nice part is we have free will. You can decide what you want to do. But knowing what I know, I could never imagine doing those bad things to my body. And I always say, if you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. That's a phrase I hadn't used in a long time. If you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. And the reason is that it's not worth it. In life, that's pretty much all we do every day, all day is make decisions. Is it worth it? Is it worth, to run that, worth it to run that red light? Is it worth it to speed? Is it worth it to... Uh, I don't know, mixed chlorine, uh, uh, ammonium bleach when I'm cleaning my bathroom. No, it's not. But on a, on a more subtle level, we seem to kind of put that aside, that logic when it comes to eating. So I don't want you to make bad choices. So omega-6 fatty acids make up a bulk of the omega-6 consumed. Uh, that the, that's the primary contributor to nearly all chronic diseases because when consumed in excess amounts, you need a little bit of omega-6, but not a lot. Omega-6 act as a metabolic poison uh, limiting the mitochondrial function. Now, what does that mean? In your cell, you have this uh, generator. And the generator is called the mitochondria. And the mitochondria produces energy, which makes everything else work. So it's your, it's your little powerhouse. And omega-6 fatty acids can affect the mitochondrial's ability to function and produce energy. And then the body gets sick. So if you're eating processed foods, chips and butters and uh, um, uh, saturated fat, uh, polyunsaturated fats, I'm sorry, omega-6s, uh, corn oil, soybean oil, vegetable oils, canola oils, these are omega-6 fatty acids. And they, they oxidize very quickly. 
And what that means is the fat oxidizes. It breaks down into harmful components like the advanced lipid oxidation end products and oxidized uh, LA metabolites. And these things are very dangerous. So the oil goes bad is what it boils down to. So if you ever eat anything, ever, and it tastes bad, it tastes rancid, I'm begging you, please throw it away. Now, I have a friend of mine going through uh, pancreatic cancer. He's starting to get a little better, which is good news. And he lost his sense of taste. Couldn't taste anything. So he didn't want to eat anything. And his wife was complaining that, oh, he doesn't want to eat his food. I make all his food. He doesn't want to eat it. Doesn't, not that he doesn't want to eat it. He couldn't taste anything. So as a defense mechanism, his body said, I don't know if this is good or not because I can't taste it. I'm going to have you eat nothing. So his body was keeping him alive because he didn't know if it would be rancid oils or if it would be an avocado. So they said, don't eat anything. Well, that's counterproductive to good survival. And eventually his taste started coming back and he's eating more foods now. So if you taste something that's bad, I'm begging you, please throw it away. Do not eat it. Nothing. I don't care if you're hungry. This is not nutrients. It's anti-nutrients. You're going to kill yourself if you keep doing these things. So... Oils go rancid very quickly. That's why even with supplements like omega-3 fatty acids, the first thing you think about is fish. Well, fish oil goes rancid pretty quickly. And so I don't like omega-3 fatty acids from fish for many reasons. Krill oil for an omega-3 is a better choice. But algae oil is the purest form. And we have Dr. Joe's algae oil, and I take that every day. It helps with inflammation. It helps with brain function. Uh, really important. It's called an essential fatty acid. Essential means you have to get it from an outside source. You can't make it yourself, and it can't be made from other ingredients. Like the body will take amino acids, chop them up, remix them, and make eye tissue and toenails and, and hair and, and, and earwax. So the body is able to make it from other things. We can't make essential nutrients. We can't make omega-3 fatty acids, so we have to get them from an outside source. So I'm begging you, please, stay away from these things that have oils in them. In fact, going to a no-oil diet or no-added oil is the best. I still use a little bit of olive oil. Um, I'm Italian. I think I have to. I think it's the law. But it's always extra virgin organic olive oil. And just use a very small amount. Your body can handle that. But I would never use soy oil, corn oil, canola oils, vegetable oils. Don't ever use those, folks. They're just so bad for you. Horrible. Uh, other things, that, in case you're just joining us. What we're talking about today are top health tips for the year. Things that you should start doing every single day. And one of the nutrients that most of us are deficient in is called magnesium. It's required for healthy function of most cells in the body. Deficiency can prevent the cells from functioning normally and can deteriorate, again, that mitochondria, and that can result in some serious health issues. Deficiency in magnesium is widespread. It's everywhere, and it's due to inadequate consumption of what? Green leafy vegetables. So if you rarely eat your vegetables, you're probably going to need to take a magnesium supplement if... You want to try to stay healthy. But if you're not eating your vegetables, the chances are magnesium is just one of your problems. So having low amounts of magnesium has also been shown to increase your uh, uh, issues with vitamin D requirement. So if you have low magnesium, you're going to need more vitamin D. Vitamin K2, we talked about that earlier. Vitamin K2 you get from green leafy vegetables, and it helps your immune system. But when you absorb calcium with vitamin D, the K2 drives it into the bones. And so vitamin K2 can also affect how much D you need. Data from nearly 3,000 individuals revealed that 244% more oral vitamin D was required to get 50% of the population to achieve the minimum vitamin D levels. So what that means is you'd have 244% more intake of vitamin D if you didn't have enough magnesium. And the minimum is about 30 or 40 nanograms per milliliter. So another reason why you should be eating more fruits and vegetables. Now, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, that powder supplement that I say is my favorite, has magnesium in it. Now, here's the thing with supplements. Supplements are in addition to a good diet, not instead of a good diet. They supplement a good diet. So don't think you can take supplements and go eat whatever you want. Now, you can, and it's better to, if you're going to eat anything you want, to at least take supplements, but ultimately, I want you to take supplements, and I want you to eat a good diet. And I want you to have a healthy nervous system. And I want you to have a healthy digestive system. These are the secrets. Those are the three things that you have to have in order to have a good, uh, a healthy body. 
normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, good nutrition. This is not hard, folks. This is really easy. And I always said, if I was just Grand Poobah of the universe and I can make the rules on healthcare, I would say everybody has to get their spine checked periodically. And if you have a flare up, you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, if you have something obvious on x rays, stabilize that and then maintain your spine. We force people to get vaccines. We force people to do certain things. We force people to eat certain foods at school lunches. But we're not forcing anybody to be healthy. And that makes absolutely no sense to me. Now, I don't want to force anybody to do anything good or bad, but at least have that option. I put five drops of vitamin D in people's food, if nothing else. It's so cheap. So we want to make sure we have the normally functioning nervous system, and that's where chiropractic care comes in. Digestive system, you might have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. How many people have it? Raise your hands. A lot of you do. I've been in practice a long time now, over 30, about 38 years coming up on, and I find that about 85% of the patients that I test for this have some problem with digestion, burping, gas, acid reflux, constipation, diarrhea. And so if we can fix that, and many times it's a physical problem. The stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm. There's a valve called the ileocecal valve. Sometimes it gets stuck closed or stuck open. And so many times the digestive problem is physical as well as chemical. And for some reason, we keep wanting to treat it chemically. It's like tuning up your car, but not putting good gas in it or putting good gas in it and not tuning it up. You got to do both. You know, if my tires are out of alignment, changing the oil is a good idea, but it's not going to fix my tires. And so that's why I want to make sure you treat your body at least as well as you treat your car. And I think we'd be a lot better off if we did. And then nutrition, of course, this is what we talk about all day, every day. And I keep pounding it into you different ways, different words, different jokes. I'm trying to get this point across to you that if you eat a good diet, you'll save a ton of money. Studies, because once I, I think it was just one study, but it may have been others that said if you just cut out dairy products, keep eating meats and sugars and coffees and alcohol and everything else, just cut out dairy products, chances are you'll add eight quality years to your life. If you cut out all animal products, you can add qual- 11 quality years to your life. I can't make that any easier for you, folks. Now, I know the bad stuff tastes good. I'm not stupid. I mean, I understand the stuff tastes good, but we talk about this a lot. Is it worth it? Is is it worth it? If it's not worth it, is a relationship worth fighting for? Absolutely then. Fight for it. If, is it worth, uh, I don't know, speeding? If it's worth it, go ahead and do it. But chances are it's not. Is eating right worth it? Absolutely. But if it's not worth it, then don't do it. But I've never... I can't imagine where eating right wouldn't be worth it. So consider that. And that's why it's good to eat good foods and take supplements like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Vitamin D. We talked about glutathione before, digestive enzymes. This is not really rocket science. I can't make it any easier for you. Now, we talked about the nervous system. If uh, If you have a spine, I should say. If you have a spine, you should probably come see us. Now, some people may know people that are spineless, but they don't need to come see us. But everyone else does. So if you have a spine, chances are you've had car accidents, sports injuries, lifting, bending, squatting, housework, yard work, slip and fall. And the spine, the bones can move out of place. And if the bones move out of place, they pinch nerves. And when you pinch a nerve, it hurts 10% of the time. 90% of the time, there is no pain. 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. You don't feel your blood pressure. You don't feel your spleen. You don't feel your hormones. You don't feel your adrenal glands. So our doctors check the nerves that feel pain and they check the nerves that don't feel pain. And I don't know of any other doctors that do that. Then we do a nutritional workup on every one of our patients. Now, whether you do it or not is totally up to you. We can't make you do it, but we just give you the information. So if you'd like to become a patient, I think you should, drjoe.com. We have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, We'd love to be your doctor. Digestive issues, chiropractic issues, headaches, neck pain, back pain. If you're ever in a car accident, ever, if the car is damaged, in my experience, you're damaged 100% of the time. So you really need to come see us as quickly as possible and everybody in the car. Children. Yes, we treat children. I've treated a child probably 10 minutes old and I've treated people well into their hundreds. So yeah, if you have a spine and you're above ground, chances are we can do some pretty amazing things with you. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. We'd love to see you. We accept almost every insurance out there. Uh, First visit is normally $720. We do a lot for that exam, x-rays, consultation, going over the x-rays, complete nutrition evaluation, treatment. 
we've reduced that to 375. So if you want to make an appointment, we can't keep that price forever. I mean, I know it sounds like, but wait, there's more. No, we can't do that forever, of course, but we want to make it so that you can be there. And then we accept almost all insurances. And even if you don't have insurances, we have payment plans. We have something called care credit. Um, it's still the most effective, least expensive treatment out there for most healthcare problems. Way cheaper than even an hour in a, an emergency room for a whole year of treatment. So drjoe.com, if you want to come see us, we'd love to have you as a patient. Other things that we need to do to make sure our body's healthy. We talked about magnesium. Uh, if you're eating things like Swiss chard, turnip greens, beets, collards, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, bok choy, romaine lettuce, even romaine lettuce, loaded with magnesium. So you have good sources there. Something else that I, my grandmother taught me years ago is that your bowels have to work properly. When we were little, if we started having anything go wrong, my grandmother said, you need an enema. Clean out the gut. Now, here's a woman that I think went to high school, came to America, I think it was 1922, and didn't speak English. She came from Germany to America at a time when we were at war with Germany, and she didn't speak English. Wow. But people had people getting out of Germany. They didn't want to be there, of course. And so we didn't have all the fancy antibiotics and all the other stuff we have now, which is all good stuff. But her big thing was make sure you're going to the bathroom. Healthy evacuation of the bowels is a factor that most people ignore. The good news is when you improve your bowel function, it can be some, something as simply as how you sit on a toilet. Because the bowels, if when you sit down and your legs are bent like you're sitting in a chair, uh, it kinks the bowels. And it's harder for the bowels to evacuate. And so you see these little potty squatty things that you can just put under your feet to lift your feet up around a toilet. If you just do that, I mean, so if ultimately you could squat, that'd be perfect. If you've ever been to Europe or Asia, you've seen that a lot of toilets just holes in the ground. That's the ideal scenario. But I understand that may not be practical. So at least put something, a, a step stool under your legs to lift your knees up as far as you can. And that allows for better evacuation. And now if you have to sit on a typical toilet, that's just so counterintuitive and counterproductive to the body. Now, how do you get the body working better? Well, again, put a little step stool underneath your feet, but you can also eat more fiber. And just take a couple of days and eat nothing but fruits and vegetables. You could do avocado, you could do some nuts, some seeds, not a lot because they're fattening, uh, bread, uh, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, salad. And after two or three days, you'll be amazed how much easier it is to go to the bathroom. Going to the bathroom should not be an event. You shouldn't have to bring a magazine with you or your phone. Uh, <laughs> the old days were magazines. But that helps. Now, we have a supplement called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula, and it works very well to kind of jumpstart everything. And that's on the website, drjoe.com. But I don't want you taking that one for a long time. I want to get to the cause of why your bowels aren't moving, not just treat the symptoms. The other supplements I want you taking, super green central source, vitamin D, digestive enzymes, glutathione, those you should take on a regular basis, forever. But the intestinal formula is designed to kind of jumpstart things and get it moving. Now, the nerves in the low back, and I, every time I say this, people are blown away. The nerves in the low back might give you, if you pinch them, back pain, leg pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, but it's the same nerve that controls your colon, your sex organs, and your bladder. So now you might have gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, urinary issues, sexual issues, erectile problems, uh, menstrual cycle problems. The nerves in the low back control all that. And I cannot tell you how many patients I've seen, I, I have no way of counting, it's countless, that they've had digestive issues, we give them chiropractic treatments in the low back, it opens up the nerve to the bowels, and now the bowels start working again. Dr. Joe, I've been to all these different doctors, gastroenterologists, I've taken supplements, I've taken medicines and prescriptions, nothing's ever worked. That's because the wires going to the organs weren't working. It would be like changing the light bulb over and over again, but never turning the switch on. You could change the light bulb all day, but until you put the power into the, into the light bulb, it ain't going to work. And that's what's happening with so many of you. And every organ has a nerve that goes to it. The liver, the spleen, the kidneys, the colon, the sex organs, the brain, the eyes, the nose. And so again, the missing link in healthcare is the nervous system. People just don't talk about the nervous system, and I don't know why. And I have doctors and insurance companies and lawyers and uh, hospital administrators come to me and say, I never looked at it like that before. That's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing, but it's really simple. So it's a good idea to come. If you want to come see us, drjoe.com. 
Uh, we have offices in the Atlanta area, Marriott at Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We'd love to be your doctor. And if you have any questions, you can always send them to me through the website, drjoe.com, and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Now, make sure you put your email address in. Make sure it's the right email address because every now and then somebody puts in the wrong email address and then they'll send me an, uh, another one saying, well, we sent you a question. You never got back to us. And then, okay, let me go back and I, I got to research it. Sure enough, you know, is your name John Smith? Oh no, it's Jane Smith. Okay, you put the wrong email address in there. All right, well, then I can't send you a response. But if you want to send questions through the website, we're more than happy to answer them for you. We try to answer them as quickly as possible, but hang on, okay? Sometimes they, I, we get every day. We get messages at 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. Give us some time, okay? Joe and I are the ones that answer it. We have to wake up and, you know, stretch and brush our teeth, and then we answer your questions for you. If you're a podcast junkie and you like what you're hearing, and I hope you do, you can follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito, and we post when we're going live. If I'm a, I'm a guest on Eric Von Hessler's show, Frank Ski's show, Belinda Skelton's show, uh, Word on the Street uh, with Shelly uh, Shelley, uh, Shelley Winter and Melanie Kai, so I'm a guest on a lot of different shows every week. And so we post on social media when we're going to be a guest, so you can tune in there. Uh, but we also have hundreds, thousands of hours of podcasts. So if you're a podcast junkie, at Dr. Joe Esposito. And whatever service you have, at, uh, no, I'm sorry, at Dr. Joe Esposito is my uh, handle for social media, Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it is our podcast, and you can listen to as many hours as you want for free. Our website has audio and video podcasts. YouTube, all video. DrJoe.com uh, has it all there. Or follow us at Dr. Joe Esposito. So we really want you to be a podcast junkie and learn as much as you possibly can. I want to say, if you're, if you're under VA care, Veterans Administration's care, if the VA sends you to us, they pay for your treatment. 100%. So if you're under VA care, why is that? The VA realized a while ago that chiropractic is the most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain. And they don't want to deal with pain patients. All my friends that are primary care physicians are like, we don't want pain patients. Get them out of our office. There's nothing we can do with them. They're a liability to us. Get them out of our office. Come see us. We get really good results in most cases, not every, every case, uh, but we do. And the NFL is now uh, you know, using chiropractic care. They're paying for it even for their retired players. Uh, uh, hospitals are uh, sending patients to us. Uh, the VA is sending patients to us. So if it's good enough for everybody else, it's probably good enough for you too. And if you have a question and you want a second opinion, maybe you have an MRI or CAT scan, my doctors are more than happy to look at your uh, test results and give you an opinion as well. So if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, drjoe.com. We'd love the opportunity to come see us. We have offices, Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, websites there 24 hours a day. All the supplements you can buy on the website or come by the office and pick them up. It'll save you some shipping costs. We want to be your doctors. We want to naturally get you well and keep you well. Again, drjoe.com. Tell your friends.